The people have spoken and their voices were heard. Governor Arnold Balash is making that declaration after taking his oath of office at the multi-purpose center on Saipan, the same grounds the island's first governor, Carlos Camacho, took his oath. Palacios and Lieutenant Governor David Apatang making history of their own as the first candidates from an unrecognized party to take the seat, making the case that they're past party politics. There will be no me alone in your Palacios administration. It will always be we, and we are all in this together. Apatang, now former Saipan mayor, is the first veteran to serve as lieutenant governor and said he wants to work closely with the Your Department of Defense to prioritize civilians in future developments in the region. The new administration echoing their campaign promise of opening up the Commonwealth's financial books to remedy the allegations that plagued former Governor Ralph Torres regarding extravagant spending and sweetheart deals. We are all in. We are all in to rebuild trust, restore confidence, and to bring back integrity and credibility to our government. Palacios, now the former lieutenant governor, not pulling any punches about his former running mate Torres, who was a no-show to his ceremony. When unchecked, the arrogant use of power never amounts to any good. The people saw through the attempts to hide what greed and corruptions have sown. Balash is acknowledging the hardship ahead as they work to stabilize the island's fiscal health with a stern warning. We will review past use of public funds and will pursue with the assistance of the Attorney General the options of recoupment from those individuals and companies that are made out like bandits. Our people deserve better. Palacios and Apatang now tasked with delivering on their word. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.